to The Daily Buzz, I'm Mike Moliterno. Finding ways to upskill employees in a cost-effective manner is key to the future success of many Valley employers. And to fill that future need, there's no way we can do it just with the number of students who graduate every year. We have to do it with the people who are already there. So that means we have to upskill the entire Ohio workforce. In today's Brain Gain Brief, we begin at Heinz Industries, where 40% of the workforce have upskilled thanks to a statewide workforce development program. Brain Gain is sponsored by Farmers National Bank and the Mahoney Valley Manufacturers Coalition. The nearly 100-year-old Heinz Industries in Youngstown is expecting to grow by 30 to 40 percent in 2022. The company, which mills custom shapes from roll form steel, has found growing demand in the solar and automated warehouse markets. To keep up with the need for more workers, Heinz has leaned on Ohio's TechCred program, which reimburses employers up to $2,000 in training costs for each credential gained by an employee. This week, Lieutenant Governor John Husted toured Heinz to see how the program was benefiting the manufacturer. TechCred is about giving skills to people who in many cases, not all cases, didn't go to college, but they need extra training so that they can thrive in a tech-infused world. To date, 76 employees at Heinz have gained credentials through the program. Houston said they hope to have 30,000 Ohioans take advantage of the program during its first two years, but they exceeded that goal by 10,000. Everybody wins with TechCred. The employee gains a credential, which means they have more skills, more earning power, and more job security. The business wins because they have an employee who's better trained, creates more pr product productivity, and they can better serve their customers. Employees win, businesses win, Ohio wins. You can read more. A link is available in the description. If, like many employers, you're looking to add workers, you'll want to check out Jeremy Lydic's story on onboarding strategies. In the story, Lydic speaks with several HR representatives about the importance of a good onboarding strategy and how those strategies are changing to suit today's workforce. Christopher Allen is HR manager at Altium Cells, which expects to employ some 1,300 workers by the end of 2023, once its $2.3 billion plant is running at full capacity in Lordstown. It's more about uh, establishing a culture uh, so the first day of uh, employment with us, the first thing that you go over after your paperwork's done is our values. And we have a big wor workshop about values, our eight, our eight values. Um, and that becomes the basis for learning and growing within the company. You can hear more from Alan and read more from the other HR reps by clicking the links in the description. And that is going to do it for this week's Brain Gain Brief. For more Brain Gain news, click Brain Gain under the Workforce Development tab at businessjournaldaily.com. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Mike Moliterno. Brain Gain is sponsored by Farmers National Bank and the Mahoney Valley Manufacturers Coalition.